Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another chatty video because while this bee time lapse is playing, I want to talk to you about one of the reasons, well, probably the main reason why I stopped using coloured pencils last year and have been trying to loosen up with my work instead. But before I get into that, I've been really enjoying listening to audiobooks whilst drawing this bee. I need headphones in to stay focused on a drawing. I think that might be a subconscious thing because it's not as easy to get up from my desk with them in. But I don't really have time to read books and I do miss it. So I've been using Audible. Now, this video isn't sponsored by them, but I do have a link for you to get a free trial and one free book. That will be in the video description if you're interested, and you can cancel the trial at any time. One book I really recommend is Stephen Fry's Mythos. I'll leave a link to that too. It's really interesting. Some parts are shocking and it's really funny too, so it has got it all. Adam must have thought I was mad because I'm sat there with my headphones in, making all sorts of ooh, ah noises and actually laughing. And I'll admit, it does take quite a lot to make me laugh. So, why did I stop drawing? I go to a local art group once a week, when we're not in lockdown of course, which I really love and what I'm about to say is nothing against the members. They really are all such lovely people and genuinely supportive. It's just how I took what some of them said. Quite often I would be working on the same piece for weeks and people would laugh and say, oh, you're still on that one, or, oh, you're slow, aren't you? Which were all just throwaway comments, but they stuck with me, unfortunately, because I was already thinking, how can I make money from art if it takes me weeks to create one piece? So I was always striving to get quicker and bash out artworks but I just couldn't get any quicker with coloured pencils so I stopped drawing. I was trying out acrylics, oils and watercolours instead and painting various subjects. I mean a couple of the paintings I created turned out really well but other than that things were just staying half finished or if I did finish them, I wasn't happy with the result. I was putting too much pressure on myself to create perfect pieces all the time and to be really quick and loose too. So I've really been at a bit of a loss the last few months, not knowing what I wanted to do, just jumping from subject or medium or style to another and although I've probably been creating the most that I have in a long time I think this has all really had such a detrimental effect on everything my creativity and motivation because I'm not improving on anything because I'm just moving on to the next thing I wasn't enjoying the process because of the pressure and anticipation that I wasn't going to like the end result. And coincidentally, feeling like I was wasting my time. And so basically I ended up thinking, what was the point? It also affected my productivity because I've got so many half finished pieces where I was starting something, perhaps enjoying it for a day and then moving on but all of this does have a positive. 
it's made me realise what it is that I really love and what my forte is. I wish I could splash some paint on a canvas and create beautiful expressive floral paintings or impressive impasto landscapes but it's just not me and it doesn't have to be me either. I enjoy creating realistic portraits of animals and birds with some splashes of colour in there. Although where I had a couple of years just solidly creating pet portraits, I ended up just playing it safe and not really emphasising the colours that I could see in the photos. So I really do want to get back to this. And realistic portraits is what I'm best at because I really do love the end results. I do still love painting when I'm not putting pressure on myself, but I need to have the control and precision that dry mediums give to create the work that I love. So, you've probably realised where I'm going with this. I've decided to go back to coloured pencils and drawing mainly animals and birds. If you're following me on social media, you'll have probably already noticed this. I'm also accepting pet portrait commissions again and I've had two already which is really good. I'm offering portraits in my new line and wash style too so that does still give me an element of painting. Since making this decision I'm feeling so much more motivated but I am making sure that I really enjoy and take in the whole process though, almost like mindfulness, where you really focus on each individual step. Like, I love the smell of pencil sharpening, and on the warm rainy days that we've had recently, I've had the window open whilst drawing, and it was so nice listening to the rain and enjoying the fresh smell in the air. I'm also not putting pressure on myself to draw all the time. I'm finding sort of about two hours is my limit and then I have to stop and have a break. So that's what I'm doing to make sure that I don't burn myself out. And the biggest lesson that I've learnt is that I mustn't worry about how long something takes me to draw. Coloured pencils are one of the slowest mediums to use because you have to put down lots of layers and slowly build up the colour. So, of course it's going to take me a long time to do a drawing. And now that I've accepted this, I'm feeling much better about everything. I have finished this bee drawing now, and one of the commissions too. And I'm currently working on the second commission, which is a really sweet Jack Russell. His colours are quite difficult though, so he is taking a while. I filmed drawing his eye, so I think that might be my next video. I have got some more footage of this bee drawing too, so let me know if you'd like to see the rest of that. If you're interested in seeing the progress photos of this bee, and seeing my commission as well, they are all up on my social media, which is at Kate Bird Art. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. I hope you found it interesting and it wasn't too long. Please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and whether you like seeing these time lapses and the more chatty videos because that will really help me create better content and improve my channel. If you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everyone. Bye!